Hello everyone, my name is Giovanni with Haverford Township Free Library, and today, welcome to another Teens Reading Roundup. Now, we are going to be focusing some more comics on Hoopla today, and the theme for today is going to be Pride Month, because, you know, it's June, and I figured we could show off some of our colors with LGBTQ. Uh, I've always found interesting stories. Uh, I've always liked to explore different styles of writing, so I've definitely seen a lot of uh, more LGBTQ writing come up over the past three to four years. And I think it's really great to be, uh, see different people uh, show off what it really means to be themselves sometimes. Uh, now, we're going to go through four different stories as always. First story we have here is Bingo Love. This has been made by T. Franklin and illustrated by Jean St. Now, uh, so this is a story about two ladies who meet in 1963. And over six decades, they realize that they still love each other since they first met. Uh, so what happens through the story is you basically see them meet, fall in love, and as they go through college and slowly drift apart, uh, they marry different guys, have families, and uh, they just keep running into each other over time and time again as if fate had made them, had put them together for a reason. I, I really thought they did a good job on the story of showing love and family through such a long period of time and having to deal with what it really meant to uh, their family when they chose uh, to love who they love. Now, uh, so the next story that we have here uh, is one that is about someone who's found uh, their own identity. We are going with Gender Queer, a memoir. This has been made by uh, Maya Kobabi and also illustrated by them as well. Uh, so this is a story of a person who uses the pronouns of E, M, and I. Uh, it's basically their own memoir or it's their own memoir of what it meant to uh, discover herself and what it really meant to talk with family, friends, and really have to show people what air is really like or how they air really sees them herself. Uh, now, this is just a really good story because just from the start, I can tell it's very informative. I can show that air, it's a very vivid memory as well. And I like the art a lot as well, because the landscaping is beautiful from what I've seen, and the anatomy is spot on as well. Because I'm sure someone who identifies different ways and uses different pronouns would have really take it seriously about their own anatomy. Uh, now, the next story we have is a bit more lighthearted, a bit more uh, paranormal, let's say. We are going with Taproot, a story about a garden and a ghost. This has been made by Keys Young and illustrated by them as well. So... This is a story about two friends, one dead, one alive. Uh, Hamal is the person able to see his uh, dead friend, Blue, who is just for some reason haunting him until uh, he wants to leave. But he doesn't want to leave because he loves uh, Hamal so much. And over the period of time, you get to see uh, why things really happened. You get to see uh, the choice Blue has to make to uh, protect Hamal at all costs. Now, I really like the art for this one a lot because it's very pastelish with the colors. And there's also a bit of a hint of anime art style to it as well. Uh, just more like how the line work is. But I thought they did an amazing job uh, filling in each page like that. Uh, when you see a background, it's a full background. Like so many colors and different shapes. Uh, now, our last story here is called Generations by Flavia Biondi and illustrated by them as well. So I like this story a lot because it's a story about family. It's about a man, young man named Matteo who leaves his hometown uh, uh, at a younger age to elope with an older man, um, one that his family wasn't really, his family couldn't accept what he had done basically. And after three years living in Milan, he comes home, barely any money in his pocket, uh, looking for some help. So this is a story about coming back to deal with your problems. It seems to me about talking it out with your family as best as you can, even if they're not exactly accepting of the things you're trying to talk about, if it, even if it means so much to you. Sometimes it's very hard for family to accept each other like that. But I think this is a really well-written one just from the first few pages that I read of it. I think there's going to be some really heavy story into this, which I always love because I love character development. And I think it adds so much more at the end when you see how they resolve everything or if they resolve everything. But let me know what you guys think, which one you liked, or if there's a comic that you know that uh, is really good that's related to Pride or LGBTQ at all uh, that you would like to share.
uh, if you would, you could reach us here on our website at Haverford and here at Haverford Township Free Library org or you can reach us on any of our social media platforms uh you can reach us on facebook youtube and instagram at haverford township free library that's all i have here for today uh, i've been giovanni and i hope that you guys have a nice rest of your day bye, -bye now